Okay, so this is P8, energy, forces, doing work. So well done for bypassing the P7 topic if you're doing combined science, but we're back on to uh, a topic that is uh, for both the combined scientists and the triple scientists, okay? So energy can be stored in the following types. In case of magnetic, gravitational, kinetic, chemical, electric, verbal, strain or elastic, and nuclear. Okay, so we talked about these uh, types of energy stores in one of our previous topics. So please look over that lesson. Okay, so we looked at the Saki diagrams before, didn't we? Um, and essentially, remember the arrow that goes horizontally across is the useful energy, and the arrow that goes downwards is the wasted energy. So we can see from these diagrams that B is the most efficient because it has the least amount of wasted energy. Okay whereas C is the least efficient as most of the energy is wasted, okay? Let's remind ourselves that energy cannot be created or destroyed and that the total energy into the machine has to equal the useful out plus the wasted output, okay? So remember these boxes, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five has to equal the 10 small boxes at the start, okay? We also mentioned that energy can be transferred uh, via these uh, these these ways, okay, mechanically, uh, via light, via sound, electrically, and, and via heating as well. Okay, so uh, look back in, into one of my previous lessons where I do talk about these uh, ways of tra energy transfer. Okay, when work is done by force, energy is transferred. Okay, let's remind ourselves how do we measure a force? Well, with a newton meter or a force meter. Right. Now, what is work done again? Well, I'm going to define this equation for you. So work done is equal to the force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of the force. OK, so just remind yourselves that work done has units of joules, which means it is energy, essentially. OK, that's because when work is done by a force, energy is transferred. OK, so when a box is pushed across the floor, work is done against friction. When a box is lifted into the air, work is done against gravity. Okay, so uh, just remember this point here. Okay, when work is done by a force, energy is transferred. For your exam, obviously, you need to be able to use this equation. Uh, again, rearranging um, the terms. Um, otherwise, please make sure you can draw a triangle with those terms in them. When in it, sorry. Okay. Remember, we also talked about the uh, gravitational potential energy equation, uh, which I'll remind you again, is equal to the mass times the gravitational field strength times the vertical height, okay? And the kinetic energy is equal to half times the mass times the speed squared or velocity squared, okay? So again, in your exams, you need to be able to use both these, exa uh, both these equations, uh, rearranging the terms accordingly, okay? Depending on what they ask you for in the question. And again, you have to remember that all energy in any form of energy transfer eventually gets sent to the surroundings and that initial uh, concentrated amount of energy probably in, in a battery or in the food that you have in the morning, um, you know, eventually becomes spread out. So it sort of dissipates. So it's sort of hard to collect up the energy again. OK, and obviously the, the form of energy uh, that is spread to the surroundings is in the form of heat, okay, so the, the temperature of the surroundings obviously will rise. Now, we're going to talk about power now. So there's this equation here. So uh, again, you can put it into a triangle, or you, you've got to make sure you can rearrange this in your exam. But what is it? It's the rate of energy transfer. Okay, so the power of a device is the rate at which it transfers energy. So a high power device means a lot of energy is transferred in a short time and a low power device means not much energy is transferred in a long time okay so again let's remind ourselves energy similar to work done it's got units of joules power uh, has got units of watts how do you remember that well what's the unit of power okay what's the unit of power say it as a question well it's also a statement okay kids laugh at this at school not really i know it's a very lame joke but anyway that's how you can remember it Okay, time is in seconds. So what does that mean? 
one watt is equal to well it's equal to one joule transferred per second okay so if a light bulb has a power of 60 watts it means 60 joules is transferred every second okay and finally here's the equation for efficiency so it's the useful energy output divided by the total energy inputs okay and if you multiply that by 100 we guess percentage mm -hmm.